Hello. It's a little quiet this week. Uh, you know, there's there's lots of stuff going on, which makes the news a little bit quiet. Not necessarily a lot of stuff going on in Portland, but a lot of stuff going on in Central Oregon. It's High Desert Innovation Week. It's also Bend Venture Conference, BBC, which I've talked a lot about, and I've shared who's pitching and all those kind of things. The video is coming out while people are still pitching and while judges are figuring out who won the competition. So I don't have that news for you quite yet, but I will have it for you soon. And I'll make sure that you get that news so you know who won BBC 2024 in both the growth stage and the, the early stage competitions. So it gets you all that detail on how much investment people received and, and all those kind of things, as always, with Ben Venture Conference the largest and longest running early stage venture competition in the Pacific Northwest, potentially west of the Rockies, maybe west of the Mississippi, maybe in the whole nation. But it's a big deal, Ben Venture Conference. So stay tuned for more news on that front. Speaking of venture capital, uh, Monday, there is a documentary film that is being screened in town called Show Her the Money. Now, you may not realize this, but women only receive 2% of venture capital. Women-led companies generally only receive 2% of venture capital. Now, a little of that, uh, the statistics have been a little marred by the fact that there are some significant AI companies that have women leadership and, and women co-founders that have raised like ridiculously large rounds. But... By and large, women-led companies only receive a minuscule amount of venture capital, even though it's been proven that they do a better job of managing that funding and have the potential to build far more successful businesses. That's what this documentary digs into. It really kind of pulls back the veil on venture capital, and especially what women go through as they try to raise venture capital. If that's interesting to you, and it should be, that will be taking place Monday night at the Omsi Empirical Theater. It's called Show Her the Money, and it's on a, it's on a documentary film tour right now. It's making Portland one of the stops. There will also be a panel of folks talking about their experiences as women in venture capital and as founders, so well worth your time. Please take the opportunity to see Show Her the Money and the panel that's accompanying it. Even on the quiet weeks, news is happening, and I'm happy to bring it to you every single week. All you have to do is subscribe. Speaking of women-led companies, this week was also Rue Portland, which is an annual event designed to focus on women-led companies in food and beverage industries. Could be CPG, could be restaurants. As long as they're women-led here in Portland, this is a gathering to really celebrate that and highlight those activities that are happening here in town. And you know, nothing makes me happier than an affinity map, and Rue Portland has delivered on that front as well. So if you're really curious about finding women-led food and beverage companies here in Portland, there's absolutely a map for that. I will link it up. Yet another great affinity map, and I'm, I'm hoping it sticks around. I'm hoping it's not just for the event. I'm hoping we can continue to use this map of women-led businesses to frequent them, to support them, to show to people visiting where they can go and spend their money with women-led businesses. So uh, the room map, I will link it up. Make sure you use it. Make sure maybe this weekend, you know, do yourself a favor and pick something off the map to go visit, to go patronize, and, and be a customer of one of those women-led businesses on the Rue map. Let's keep using it, and let's hope it sticks around for us to continue using throughout the year. Now, I know you've heard me talk about the Portland Startup Slack from time to time. Portland Startup Slack is this community Slack instance with, I don't know, 200,000 Portland startups on it. Okay, it's not that. It's not 200,000, but it is like 7,000 people who've signed up for it. So it's a, it's a formidable group of folks. Granted, not everybody is active all the time, but they could be more active if you joined and started talking with them. You never can tell. You've got a great personality. 
you might just bring the conversation out in some of those 7,000 people. Anyway, jump on that Slack. If you're in Portland, we would love to have you there. It's a great way to connect with a ton of really interesting people. There are all kinds of channels you can engage with. It also keeps you up to date. There's like an events channel to keep you up to date, like a hype channel that like lets you know all the stuff that people are promoting. And then there's, you know, some general discussion and random stuff and, and all that kind of thing. But there's also a channel called Social Beer. And what it was originally designed to do was just be social chit chat about beer. But what Devin Gaffney did was really just kind of innovate on that channel because he's a startup type person. So he innovates, you know, like you do. And so what has happened with Social Beer is it has morphed into a real life gathering. So not only can you interact on the Slack virtually as a as a digital citizen, you also get the chance to meet up with folks from the Portland Startup Slack in person on a regular basis, thanks to Social Beer. There's a meetup channel, but so long as you're on the Slack, you'll know when it's happening. Uh, Social Beer is happening Tuesday, October 22nd. So if you're interested in connecting with people from Portland, whether you're on the Slack or not, check out Social Beer on Meetup. You'll be able to find out where it's happening month to month. It's randomly decided within a matter of minutes and, and emojis on Slack. And then, you know, it, it it's not terribly well planned in advance. So you kind of have to be paying attention. But I will try and keep you up to date with when it's happening. So uh, with when it's happening, I will try and keep you up to date when social beer is happening. But rest assured, if you're interested in connecting with some super interesting people from Portland, that happen to be on a Slack instance and happen to like startups, you want to make it to Social Beer Tuesday evening, October 22nd. All right, I mentioned Ben Venture Conference. That's that's a startup pitch competition. You know, there's another startup pitch competition coming up next week. Not not as high stakes as Ben Venture, but but valuable nonetheless. That that that's demolitious. So demolitious. Coming up next week, it's one of the last two before the Champion of Champions competition for Demolicious. So if you go to this Demolicious and, and you'll learn how the pitches work and that kind of thing, then you can sign up for November, which will be the very last one. And you can kind of pitch there because you will have learned from the October Demolicious. You'll see what works and, and what doesn't and what the crowd likes and what they don't. And then you can format your pitch for that. Pitch in November, take the stage in December, and who knows, maybe maybe you become the champion of champions for Demolitious 2024. Which also means the belt isn't just for show for the champion of champions. The Demolitious title belt goes home with whoever wins champion of champions. I believe that's December 10th. I got my ticket a long time ago. Uh, it's the mission, the McMinniman's mission up there in Northwest. Uh, but if Please RSVP for that as well. That should be a great show with all these companies that have won throughout the year competing with one another. But again, next week, Demolicious, show up, watch the pitches, sign up to pitch in November, and then you potentially could be champion of champions. Getting a little collegiate now. No, I'm not talking about the, the Oregon, Ohio State game. Although a lot of people are. <laughs> I'm talking about... Willamette University. And the interesting thing about Willamette University is their MBA program has been ranked number one in Oregon yet again, which is which is great. Congrats to them. But the more interesting statistic for you and me, for us, given what we do and where our interests lie, is that it has been ranked the number 13 MBA program nationwide for entrepreneurship. So they've got Great content, great curriculum, great teachers teaching entrepreneurship and startup stuff. I don't know if you know this, but Willamette University has a student-run investment fund where they can make decisions about making an equity-based investment in startups using the, the capital they have at their disposal. So lots of stuff around entrepreneurship at Willamette University and their MBA program. No surprise to me that they're number one in Oregon. Also, little surprise to me that they're number 13 in the nation. 
I expect them to continue creeping up even higher next year, given the wealth of content they have around entrepreneurship and the experiences they provide to students who are interested in startups. So that's it this week, kind of short and sweet. Again, kind of quiet. People are busy down in Bend or they're busy getting ready to take the stage at Ben Venture Conference or they're packing to go grab a seat at Ben Venture Conference. Again, I'll be down there. I will try and capture as much detail as I can about what's going on. Maybe give you a little road report from Bend next week so I can tell you what I saw happening or who I got the chance to talk to. I just know there are going to be a ton of people down there. So I'm really excited to go hang out with uh, with everybody in Bend as part of Bend Venture Conference, which is just the best the best startup pitch event in the Pacific Northwest consistently year after year, now in its 21st year. So hope you're hanging in there. If you've made the trip down to Bend, I, I hope it was uneventful. Safe travels on your way back. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work.